Am I a man or am I a Muppet? Hi, welcome to Synapse Shorts, a series of four to five minute videos on Synapse analytics. So in today's video, we're going to talk about materialized views. So we can quite quickly just, if you can just put your materialized views into Google, Bing, Ask Jeeves, your favorite search engine, and you can come up with some documentation on it. But I thought I would show you a couple of little tips and tricks when I'm creating them um, and kind of just and it is really easy I think that it's it's one of those 300 level topics um, but you can get going really easy uh, really easily um, with with just a few um, hints that I'm going to give you all right let's go on to the data warehouse Cool. All right. So I've got a query here. I'm just going to execute. So it's really, it's just returning 37 rows. It takes no time because in fact, I've got results set caching on, but that's kind of irrelevant for this demo. So if I do this and then I show you the query plan, uh, we can see that it's getting data from, let me just hit F. F4. So we can then see the properties on each each operator in the query plan. Now, the reason why I use a particular technique I'm going to show you is because when I'm looking at people's systems, I don't know them that well. So I generally look at people's systems. I have to tune them without really knowing what they're doing. So there is a sort of a knack, and some of these tools that we've created do help. So if I use this keyword explain, so one thing I should point out is that these materialized views are not the materialized views that you would see in SQL Server or Oracle. These are more like the materialized aggregates that you would see in the teaser. So if we do here, and you will see that this is an XML dump, and it just shows you the query plan and just the same thing we were seeing in uh, in here the um the explain the estimated plan now one thing that's been added on is this keyword here explain recommendations we'll get to materialized views in a second don't worry now, if i take this xml and i dump it here put new line here if i search for materialized as you see that we've got some xml in here called materialized view candidates and then we got a candidate here. Now there could be multiple candidates depending on the type of query. What you'll normally see, you'll see one without constants and maybe some with. So if I had a where clause and said where well, the year was a particular year, like you know, 2019, I would see two versions of this. One, one with a false and one with a true and the one with true would have that uh, 2019 included. And what we get here is the script to create the materialized view for us. So I don't have to know anything. So this for me is super cool. I don't have to know how materialized views work. Um, I, what I'll do is probably, you know, MV underscore. So um, my first MV. So all the things about the hash distributions, it's worked out. Um, it's done all the columns for us. Now, it's not particularly pretty because it's automated it. And I'll show you a little issue that we need to fix as well. So all I need to do is execute that. And what we'll see is we'll see an error. And this can be quite confusing when you first start because it talks about these um, multi-part identifiers. Some of them you'll recognize, some of them you won't. Um, and in this case, you can see here that on fact, internet sales, we had an alias here and it's missing from here. So when it's ge generated this, it just missed the fact internet sales off 
the there's a from that one there make it a bit prettier there we go uh, and the others come from dimension date so i need to pull that off from there now probably 95 percent of the time i have to do this there's only a few cases where this just seems to work first off now considering what it's doing behind the scenes creating like a physical version of the table um, which is being updated um, all the time it's managing it for me um, and the speed improvement that i have seen of these which is queries taking minutes going down to seconds um, it's a big difference it's, it's well worth it just for this little little inconvenience so now when I execute the same query, now it was only taking a few seconds before and we don't notice anything, but how do we know that it's using the materialized view? If I look at the new query plan, you can see that this is coming from uh, F4, so I can pull just because it doesn't look so easy. Oh, yeah. MV, my first MV. Now the engine, we haven't changed the query, but the engine has realized there's a materialized view in the background and then it's deciding to hit it. Now we've noticed in testing and with customers that occasionally it will look like it's, it will actually go back to the old plan and that depends on some stats and then we can force it to use this new plan. But it's the engine making that decision so you don't have to. It's going to choose the best thing. And so that is really simple. We can just go through the worst queries see if they if we can get some materialized views out of them send it to any candidates and create them so um yeah that's it that's my materialized view video so um go and have a play all right take care bye